On today's episode, we meet an adorable baby rat snake and lots of other rat snakes. Hey, good morning, guys. I'm out here on the trail. Haven't done a video here for a couple days. And uh, I ran into this beautiful baby rat snake. And it's really fun to meet baby rat snakes. One, because they're so curious and cute. Very similar to adult rat snakes that we see here all the time. But what I like to show people about baby rat snakes is that they have a completely different pattern. This one is a great example of it. So you can see that pattern looks nothing like the, <laughs> the adult rat snake. Sorry, losing my grip here. So if you've ever seen an adult rat snake, you're going to see very similar behavior. Like if we get close, he usually puts his S curves in his neck. Oh, he's not even doing it. He's not really being adversarial today. He's, um, he's just crawling along being a snake. Uh, but if you ever meet an adult rat snake, they are completely black. There's, <laughs> there's that rat snake behavior. Look at that. They just put those S curves in their neck. You see those S curves? And they back up like that. They make themselves as tall as they possibly can. Uh, usually we see some tail rattling and some, some striking, some warning strikes to show us how big and mean he is. I don't think he's going to do much of that today. I can't get him to hardly bite. He was biting me a little bit before I started the video. This one is just so docile, though. Very friendly. Um, but what I want you guys to recognize is those patterns. So on the rat snake, they wear these black saddles. That's what we like to call them because they fit right on top of the spine. Same place that you'd put a saddle on a horse. You can see that head gets a little bit triangular if they want to flatten it out and show off. Uh, some people think triangular head means venomous snake. Well, sort of. Our pit vipers in Pennsylvania do have a more triangular head. But look at that one. You see how it's kind of triangular? Look at him going. He's just trying to get back in the woods. We're going to play with him for a little while longer before we let him go. Like, let me see if I can get him to go in my hand. He is finally biting me a little bit because I'm trying to hold him. And I am being a terrible videographer here. I'm not getting much of it at all. But hopefully you guys can still see him there. So, cute little guy. Because he is, I'm holding him. Ah, oh, there he goes. <laughs> He says, look at me, I am humongous. Uh, since I dropped the phone, I'm getting a huge delay in the video. I hope you guys can still see this. Uh, but look at him, that's him trying to prove to me that I don't want to eat him. He say, look at me, I am enormous and I am powerful and I will chomp you right up. And if we can get any closer, I want you guys to see, oh, look at him, he's just digging in those big, powerful teeth. And he's not even gonna break the skin. His mouth is so little as a baby, he's not even going to leave a mark. As soon as he lets go, I can feel, <laughs> look, at, look at the extension on his mouth. I mean, he has his mouth open almost a full 180 degrees. I'd say if we had a protractor, we'd measure that snake by, and it would probably be about 160, maybe 170 degrees. Holy cow, does he ever have that thing open wide? Uh, but you can see they can stretch their jaws very well. My goodness, he is adorable the way he's trying to consume me. Uh, but eventually, we'll get him to let go here. And I'll show you guys that there is not even going to be a mark. Hey, buddy, would you let go? I cannot even get him to loosen up. There he goes now. So look at right where he's biting me. Do you see how there's absolutely no mark there? Such a cute, cute little guy. Um, so those are the markings. Just look for those kind of dark saddles. And you'll notice there's not really any black outline. It's a fairly clear um just a, a solid black color that is sitting on gray pattern a gray background and so that's the markings of the juvenile black rat snake i do have um some pictures of a solid black one that i saw earlier on the trail he was probably about 24 maybe 30 inches and i'll post that picture in the youtube version of this if i get a chance to make the youtube version as they get bigger they're going to turn to a solid black pattern and the only thing they're going to keep is that white chin so he'll still keep a handsome white chin, still keep his really pretty belly pattern. Look at those pretty belly scales. Don't you love that, guys? And um, so he'll keep all of that, but the rest of him is going to turn solid black on top. And as he gets older, he's just going to be a really curious little snake. Everywhere he goes, he's going to be uh, looking for things to eat, baby mice, rats, maybe even some birds or some bird eggs. Probably birds are the biggest thing he needs to avoid if he's going to ever grow up. A lot of people get happy with rat snakes when they eat mice or rats, and then they get upset with rat snakes when they eat birds or bird eggs. But keep in mind, birds 
and bird eggs are very likely to eat him. Say what? Well, okay, bird eggs are not going to eat him. I just say the wrong thing sometimes. I'm gonna put him right over here. Hey, where'd he go? I dropped him already. They're so, so easy to lose. Get over here. And I'm gonna just put him over here on the trail. Uh, of course, this always drives me crazy. This is the main litter I find on trails everywhere, people in their masks. So if you're gonna wear those things, please stop dropping them out here. We're just gonna release them right now because we always like to show you the releases. We are not catching snakes to keep, of course. We're just catching them to educate you guys. So we're just gonna let him right on that beautiful branch. He's gonna disappear. So that's another snake. There he goes, he's gone. I don't know if you can even see him. He's about, he's about gone there. Anyway, guys, I hope you're having a great day. How do you like that haircut? Thanks to Josh, my barber at Chad's Barbershop. He did a nice job. Thanks for giving Reptiles a chance. Hopefully, the YouTube version of this will come out a little bit better a little bit later on today. Have a great day. Some days on the trail, we just seem to be in the right place at the right time. As soon as I let go of the baby rat snake, got back on my bike, and look who crossed right in front of me. We didn't actually have to pick him up because he was already crossing on his own. This is a male eastern box turtle. A handsome one too. There are so many different behaviors to love about rat snakes. Sometimes they crinkle up like this, probably to look more like a stick to escape avian predators, and then they just let themselves go back to normal whenever they want. My friend Joe on the trail bumped into these two rat snakes. This is two, and you can see they're getting to know each other up close and personal. Probably the most famous rat snake behavior is their ability to climb trees. Normally, when I release a rat snake, I like to release them on a tree. They will typically go straight up the tree trunk. Maybe if there's branches, they'll find some branches and they will start climbing along the branches but they are so graceful, just like a ballerina. The way they move through the branches effortlessly, it's almost like there's no gravity. It's like they're floating in space, the way they move. I love it. Every time, it's fun to watch. If you want to see a lot more baby rat snakes, make sure to check out our video called Snakes Take Over Empty Cabin. It's a story about a call we got from camp caretakers who went into a cabin and found 14 snakes. That's how many they could find. When we came out to take a look around, well, I won't tell you how many we found, but it was more than 14. You remember that tail rattling behavior we referenced early in the video? There it is. This snake did not do everything we expected. Normally, when you release a rat snake on a tree, they go up. Well, this one decided to show off just like he was on the ground. Talk about acrobatic. This snake is holding about one third of his body in mid air as he's doing his normal rat snake defensive behavior. Tail rattling, tail flicking, S curves, everything that we love about rat snakes. And he's doing it all right here while he's hanging from the tree. He's amazing. I have to wonder, how is he even holding on? He doesn't have fingers or toes or hands, even when he strikes. He doesn't lose his grip on the tree, and not to mention he's immune to poison ivy. Gosh, I wish I was immune to poison ivy. One of my favorite Facebook groups is called Rat Snakes in Predicaments, because rat snakes are so funny and so athletic and so curious, you can imagine they get themselves in all kinds of predicaments. That's a fun Facebook group you guys can check out. Well, thanks so much for watching. Please, in the comments, leave some rat snake stories for us or some rat snake questions for us. They really are one of my favorite snakes and I can never stop learning about them. I can never hear too much about rat snakes. All right, guys, have a great day. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe.